Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook. The DVD you're about to watch is entitled Porcelain Veneer Cementation Utilizing the Tack and Wave Technique. You know, I think one of the most stressful things we do in dentistry is the cementation of what I'll call a smile design, whether it be six, eight, 10, or 20 veneers. You know, there's huge expectations, not only from our patient, but for us as well. Will they all go down in one visit? Will the color match? Will we have bleeding of the tissue during the cementation? The last thing we need is the cementation process itself, the placement of the veneers, to add to the stress. Utilizing the tack and wave cementation, as you'll see, eliminates most of that stress and makes it very efficient and enjoyable. Okay, so she's been in provisionals for the last five weeks. We're going to go ahead and take those off, try in the veneers. You know, during the removal of the provisionals and the try-in, I like to use a cheek retractor. We're actually going to cement or bond the case in under a rubber dam. But this is more comfortable for the patient and allows me to evaluate the overall look of the restorations. Lots of different cheek retractors out there on the market. This is an Optra gate from Ivaclar. And the nice thing about this, go ahead and open for me. It's very comfortable for the patient. It's a non-latex silicone material with kind of a stiff inner rim ring and a stiff outer ring. We also use this when we take our impressions. You can see how it basically pulls the cheeks away from the vestibule. And also we can use it during our equilibration, especially if we use a horseshoe type articulating paper. Bite down, open, bite down open and you can see how easy it is for her to open and close and so we have complete access as we do our equilibration. Since the preparations were into Denton we are going to anesthetize Elizabeth. Typically on these cementation days rather than numbing up her whole upper lip with multiple injections I like to give a palatal injection called an AMSA anterior medial superior alveolar. 